this is my office. And for somebody who loves to organize, I've really let my office get out of control and specifically my closet. I want to make a dream office. I want to make a space that I love to hang out in and love to work in. And let's get started with this closet on a budget, of course. Hi, by the way, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California. So I do use this office primarily for my self-tape auditions, but when I have a work from home day job, this is also that office. I've been eyeing pegboards on Pinterest. And so naturally I logged onto Facebook Marketplace to see if I can get it for a deal. And oh my God, somebody like 15 minutes away was getting rid of a bunch of scatis. This is the pegboard line from Ikea. Amazing progress for day one, but uh, yeah, I so have so much organizing to do. I'm about halfway done with my closet and I'm, I'm so excited. I come in here in the morning and just stare at it and I'm like, <laughs> I have more stuff to put in it though. I just got a box with some new microphones because the microphone that I've been using, and I actually have two of these, I use these for my self tapes and for everything. They both recently started crackling. I also wanted to get some other microphones that I've been eyeing. So I got this Joby Wavo, which is a lavalier pro mic. And I have this other one that I think might be more convenient for my purposes because I do self tapes and I'm moving around a lot. It's better as far as like my clothing brushing against it i think that i would use this one i just need to make sure that it's compatible with my phone and i think it will be and then the other last thing i got is this it is a joby again it's a joby bimo which is essentially a tiny light i want to use this as my travel light that's the stuff that i'm gonna add to this wall curtains are definitely needed to help bring some warmth some texture into this room and maybe even some color but first i have these curtains from my old place they're so ugly Ugh. well at least the hooks are up i can use it for anything else okay let's try this again because mm -mm. but this time marigold Ugh, I hate the length. Now that I measured, I went back to Ikea with these specific curtains in mind, but they were $60. And then I went to the sale section and they had exactly what I wanted. I still have the giant dust that I don't know what to do with. This time I put on my paper backdrop because obviously this is something that I'm gonna be doing a lot. So I wanna find a way where I can make it look cute when this is down and stored in the closet. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put like shelves behind it or something. What I know I can do today is put up these storage racks for the paper backdrops in the closet because originally I thought oh it might be cute to put it in my office but why put it in the office when it fits in the closet so Savage actually sent me both of these and it's gonna look super cute oh man has it been a while since I did anything for my office it's partially money and partially not being able to decide on a desk but I bought something so these are just little side tables that I no longer need in my other part of my house. So I thought maybe I could put this in the corner with a plant or something. I bought a bunch of little shelves. So these ones I already have in my bathroom and I just thought, well, maybe I can put them somewhere. So I got two of these to see if I can put in here. If not, I'll put it in my room and then I have this shelf which I already have two of these in my room with plants on them but I thought maybe on this wall and then I got this same shelf longer and in my mind I was like well if I don't use them for my office I can use them for my room if I don't use them for my room then I can just return them I want my office to feel less empty it feels really empty right now and I think it's because I usually have my paper backdrop up so I tend to leave that wall blank but if I had some very narrow shelves, then I could still have this behind that wall and decorate it for when the paper is down. So I'm thinking if I fill this wall up with shelves, drawers, whatever, then my office will feel more complete. I have this inspirational image from Pinterest that almost makes it look like there's a built-in, but I'm just not sure if I want to commit to that. I've had this mirror. I think it would look cute above this fiddle fig plant. Like right here. Oh, this is too long. This is way too big. That would be fun if I put one of these really high up and put plants and books 
up there and then put another one a little bit lower. So this one all the way up and then this one maybe like right there, creating like a triangle image. I made a decision. I love this. It's actually a Zoom background that you can buy on Etsy, but I'm thinking of doing that either on this wall. And so I would have five shelves. It would be the short ones, of course, because the long ones are too long. And then have a chair in the corner and then a plant on this side or just do those brown shelves five layers again all the way down although wait does that even fit ah i could fill up this wall with these ones it just might feel a little too matchy matchy with my bathroom because these are the ones i have in the bathroom all these plants look not so great maybe i should replace all of these propagations with actual plants because the water has been in there i mean i refill the water but you know it originally got in there over a year ago you know what no in this wall i'm putting the mirror and then in that wall i'm putting five shelves so now i just have to go to ikea and get a few more shelves and of course some plants because well i do have real plants but they are so much maintenance so i want to have a mixture of fake and real they only had one shelf of the ones i needed and i have one at home which means I needed three more than I got. I'm gonna see if I can order it online and pick it up or if I can get free shipping to my house. But I got a few plants in the color scheme and pots that I wanna have on that wall. So, I mean, at least a little bit of progress. I can start putting these up and measure out where I want the other ones because I already know what size they are. <sighs> Here's the one shelf that I was able to get today. Here's the one I already had. I asked somebody at Ikea if they had more. <laughs> And they had five total, but this is the only one they had on the shelf. But I did end up getting this pot, which very much is like the pots in the reference photo. Then I got this blue little pot to put this plant in. This one's the most realistic IKEA plant I've ever bought. And I have one. I've had friends buy it because I just think it's like, it's one of the ones that even when you really look at it, it still looks real. When did I start my office makeover? I'm pretty sure it's been close to a year. And my office looks basically the same. There's piles of random stuff that I've purchased that I'm like, okay, this like this is gonna make it cute. I'm gonna finally put up all the stuff that I have at home. It's still just sitting on the floor like that. I've been wanting to put it on this wall for so long. And now I finally know what I want with this wall. So let's start making a little bit of progress. I bought a replacement cork board for this like maybe close to two weeks ago and then I saw this and I'm like oh that's what I want to do on this wall. It'll be relatively flat so my paper backdrops can still get put in front of it and I have a bunch of random gold frames that I've accumulated throughout time. Maybe I can make a little gallery wall. I like this configuration like these three big ones but I don't really like how these other ones look with them. So I'm going to find smaller picture frames to fill in these little areas. But these are out. I keep not putting stuff on the walls because I'm not so confident about it. You know, I've done it in the closet. Turned out okay. I've put up these shelves before in my, my main bedroom. They also did not turn out good at all. But since I put these up, I have learned the proper way on how to put anchors on drywall. Have I talked about this chair and this magazine rack? This one I'm pretty sure is real mid-century because it was $60. <laughs> okay, 59 plus tax, whatever. I really liked it, okay? This chair, I just loved how mid-century it is. I wanted a chair like that, but I thought mm, a chair like that might cost me like two to $500. This chair was only $75. And so I got it because I think it adds like that mid-century vibe, some wood texture, some fabric into my office. And it's really comfortable. I sat in it and I was like, oh, I did not expect this back to be this comfortable. And for the plan in the inspo image, I already have this one. You won't believe what I saw on Facebook Marketplace when I got home. Somebody was getting rid of four lac shelves in the color oak. They were giving away four of them for free. And I saw it the same day it was posted, but it was gone. And now I'm like obsessively looking on Facebook Marketplace for free desks or really cheap desks that I can actually get to my house or lac shelves. 
and I haven't been able to find any, should I stop wasting a bunch of my time and just order all of the above online, like my desk and the shelves? So I can finally put all the shelves here. It's gonna look so cute once I have my shelves here and my books and my plants. I still have this giant desk, but at least now I know what I wanna use it for. I'm gonna move this desk and use it as a sewing desk but i still have the problem that i need a new desk i really really want to get a free or cheap one from facebook marketplace or craigslist the problem is that i don't have a truck should we continue today should i do something with my office today i know once i start putting stuff up i'm not going to be able to stop and it's going to it's gonna look so much better. Something I wanna do, because it's been that long, is go through this closet again and see all of the stuff here that I still actually use, because there's stuff in there that I don't even use or doesn't work anymore. There's like a bunch of random stuff. I do wanna add a section in my office closet where I put clothes that I'm keeping specifically for wearing on set or wearing during self-tape auditions. Yeah. Um. I'm not close to being done. So I know I just bought a chair, but today I was like, I just feel like going to yard sales. I got a new chair, a nice mid-century modern-esque chair for $5. And I do think that I might reupholster it, but it's like boucle-ish. It was $5. I, I really, really didn't want to like get off the, out of the car by myself. I drove around the neighborhood a couple of times and then I finally got out at one and I'm like, okay, they're really friendly. Maybe it is okay if I just go and look at their stuff. I feel weird like, oh, let me look at your stuff for five seconds and then leave because I don't really want anything. Here's my yard sale haul and the night before I went to Facebook Marketplace and someone was selling two of the large lac shelves for only $40. They weren't the size I originally wanted because I wanted them all to be the same size. But now that I look at the inspo image, this is actually much better. I'm not excited about it and I'm going to start marking up these walls. I want 16 inches in between each shelf. And now that I'm at the bottom shelf, the last one is supposed to go right here. I could do like 12 in the last two shelves. Oh my God, this is taking so long. I don't even know what time I started, but it was a long time ago. I really, really wanna get these right. It's gonna be in the background of my Zoom calls and definitely a lot of my videos. So I just really want this to look good and I'm doing, I know I'm doing too much. I'm not confident. So if I do it really, really slow and I take extra measurements of everything, then maybe it'll happen. So what should I do? Okay, this is 16 inches. I've been using tape to mark like everything and it, it's been really helpful. <laughs> if we do 14 inches in between each of the brackets, then it's perfect. This shelf will end up exactly where I wanted it to be. After staring at this wall being blank for so many hours, I can't tell you how good it feels for it to have a shelf on it. Let's see if it's level. It should be level. I'm like 100% confident that it's level because I've put this level against this wall so many times and as I was putting the bracket up, it was level. So it's not perfect, but it's level. Look at how nice it looks. Oh, I love it. The sun is setting. So once it's dark out, I'm going to stop. I love it so much. I was on a Zoom call this morning and somebody told me like, oh, you're in a different room today. And I said, no, I just put shelves in my office. Oh, I, oh, I'm so excited about the way this is turning out. Like dream office, are you kidding me? The only thing is that usually my paper backdrop goes up here for my self tapes. And now I'm not sure if it can actually still fit there because now I have a table in that corner and the chair in this corner. So I need to try it out. I knew already that I was going to have to move this chair, but now that I put a table in this corner, I'm not sure if my self tape 
setup can fit here when I use a really large backdrop. I do need to film a few self tapes, at least one today, but I will play around with that a little bit later today. But I really, really wanted to start putting stuff on these shelves. I love it so much. <laughs> it's a start. I need to go do some self tapes. So this is, this is what I'm gonna allow myself to do for today. I'll do more in a couple of days. I did have to make the bottom of the stands a lot thinner so that they didn't bump into the table on this side. But on this side, of course, I moved the chair out of the way and it totally fits. I have to just be careful maneuvering it next to the shelves. I'm so happy because I really should have measured it and checked it before I even put the shelves up because I took all this time making sure that the shelves were level and they were exactly where I wanted. But did I think about, oh, my self tapes, are they going to fit? I'm about to do a self tape audition for a TV pilot. I am so determined to finish my office this week because I finally have a desk. I put this chair here for now. We're on a budget. <laughs> I can't just go online and order like an aesthetically pleasing ergonomic office chair. This might be my chair for now. If not, I'm gonna just bring back my computer chair. Long story short, I cashed in a Christmas gift and that's how I was able to get this. So basically all that we have left after this is to finish the gallery wall that I started over there and finish cleaning up this closet because it looks okay, but just this top up here, it makes it look so messy, you know? I have a bunch of notebooks that are like completely written in, but I think I might keep them and use them as decoration on the uh, on my shelves. And I found this notebook from a very long time ago. It has a to-do list for April 21st, 2011. My birthday's in April and it makes sense that I would start using it immediately. And it's a daily to-do list. Number one, have an amazing day. <laughs> Well, it's October 3rd. I cannot believe it's been over a year since I started redoing my office, but um, I think it's time. I think it's time I show you. I love it. Definitely my most favorite part of my office are these incredible shelves. Thank you, Pinterest. Thank you, Etsy, for having that inspiration. But this, these shelves just make me feel like it's designed. You know, I am a plant lover. But some of these plants are fake because I just have plants all over my house and it's getting a little bit out of hand. But some of these you can't even tell are fake. I did not end up reupholstering this $5 yard sale find because I just, I don't know, it grew on me. On these shelves, I end up putting a bunch of books. Some of them, I did want them to be a little bit more neutral. And then some of them are I'm fine being a color. This is like part storage, part decoration, but oh my gosh, do I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how much I love that. And then on this wall, I do have my vision board as well as just some random pictures because I didn't want it to be super blank, like I mentioned earlier in the video, like a year ago, but I really like it. Look at this. And then I can look and be like, wow, Abbott Elementary. 
I really appreciate that it has drawers at the front and I just like the general color of it. The desk does its job. We have the same uh, desk chair and these curtains were a hundred percent the right choice. In the bathroom I didn't change much other than replacing some of the propagated real plants with fake plants because this bathroom gets really hot and it was just out of control. Now the closet. Um, okay it's a tie between those shelves and this closet because oh man do I love to organize. And does this closet make me so happy because I love 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 to organize and i did add a section for clothing that i use either on set or for self tape auditions and just seeing these paper backdrops organized like this makes me feel like i have an office that's not in my house even though this is in my house i mean the uh, <laughs> the pegboards like who doesn't love a pegboard but in general this closet just oh. I could cry right now because I truly love this office. This is like my dream office. It has a giant walk-in closet. I can do my self tapes here. I have a space on my desk to do computer work. And I'm just so incredibly grateful that I get to have this amazing office to work in. I'm so excited for all of the things that are happening and going to happen in this office. I've taken now probably hundreds of meetings in this office and I've come up with so many cool ideas. I've auditioned for so many projects in this last year that I've booked that I haven't booked but made other connections like I am just so incredibly incredibly grateful for who I am what I'm doing what I have I'm I'm so excited for the future um I'm gonna start doing a lot more things that are in acting out of acting you guys I keep wanting to cry <sighs> I'm gonna be so cheesy um this room has transformed in this last year, but so have I. I feel like I'm in a place like mentally that I want to allow myself to do more things. Like I've always felt like a confident, brave person, but even if you are confident and brave, you can have certain things that you are still scared of doing and not even know it. So I'm just, um, so excited for the next things that I'm going to be doing like I'm definitely gonna make videos about it but I'm in a, in a place in a transition where I do want to start making more money adjacent to acting like provide more services and because um, in the past I've said I'm not an acting consultant I'm not an acting coach this and that and and I wasn't I think there are some things where I can bring other people value in acting it's just it's different for everybody and there's so many different stages and like the beginning stage I feel so confident in like if one of my friends was like okay I want to do acting what should I do like I'm so confident in the advice that I can give them to get started in acting and then also there's so many other people in the world that are doing similar things that after I give you what I have, then you can go on to discover more people and I'm excited to help other actors and other creatives and people in general to be happy and do things well and successfully professionally in the acting world and the filmmaking world. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here at the end of the video, leave me a blue heart emoji just so I know that you made it till the end. Here's some of the advice I was talking about that I might be able to give you to help you get started in acting or even if you're a professional actor, still watch this. Maybe it will inspire you or remind you of certain things. I have a series on how to get started in acting right now.